What's up everybody, my name is Light Knight, and today we are looking at a quest mod called Attack on Ortaria by Ryagard. Now, I have nothing but good things to say about this quest mod. It was very fun, and there were so many different things that went into it that we're about to talk about that just is so worth your guys' time. Now, first off, when you start this quest, you will find yourself uh, at the memory den, and once inside, you will go to this guy called Mr. Bombastic. And he, might I say, he is, he's a real, his dialogue's really funny. <laughs> you, you'll, and once he's given you the quest, you'll find, you can talk to him about a few more things. And he, his dialogue's very well done. And I think there's just two, uh, ac uh, voice actors in, in this, two voice acted NPCs, but still, they're voice acted, and that's really amazing. And so, after you talk to Mr. Bombastic, you will go to this machine in the memory den and start the quest. Now, when you start this quest, there is actually no map markers throughout this quest. So, you, so when you go there, you, it will be up to you. You will have, it forces you to actually explore through this, uh, quest line so which I actually really love because that's one of my favorite things that I found with this quest because it forced me to find all the notes and everything and really get a good idea of the full story now yes when you are playing this it may you may run into some parts where you get lost as you can see here I got a bit lost I spent like 15 minutes going around trying to find one thing but honestly that was just my stupidity just I didn't see something and then I turned around and got all completely mixed up but that was just one area and my stupidity <laughs> but I really loved how there was no map markers was because since you had to look everywhere and read all the notes you got a full idea of the story and storylines throughout this quest you will walk around and find notes next to these uh, bodies and these notes will describe what happened describe their experience you get to know like all these uh, different I I people and what they what happened and why they did what they did and it actually these are very well written like I actually felt sorry for uh, some of what what these uh, notes were saying of what these people wrote, um, which which is very rare in Fallout 4, because you destroy the whole institute and you really don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, so these are very well written, and really what made. Uh, me have so much fun while playing through this quest mod. It, it, it was it was really fun, and not only that, you uh, will also find these funny some some funny notes that <laughs> were left around, and I just I they, the way they're written, it just made me laugh. So there are so many good things about this quest mod. I had so much fun, and honestly, you guys, it is definitely worth your hour and a half time it will take you to play it. Maybe quicker uh, if you don't get lost like I did, and I really don't think you'll get that lost. And if you do get lost, then you can co go watch my uh, part one walkthrough that I'll be uploading tomorrow. Um, and just find, find your way out, uh, but, I mean, and say you just don't really want to play and you just want to watch the walkthrough, then yeah, you can wa watch my walkthroughs and the next one, the part two will be uploaded the next day, and not only that, the thing that really also makes this mod one of my favorite parts is the ending reward, a player home. This is also a very well made player home and actually really useful to your wasteland experience. So, uh, like I said, nothing but good things to say about this quest mod. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this mod, don't forget to endorse it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you all next time.